Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing King's Wish to Conqueror and we are in Great Port and we are going to get ready to start fighting. Let's get into here and see if there's anybody in here. We assume we're going to start fighting anyway. I missed this. Whoop, there is somebody. Well, these are spiders. Trapdoor spider. Okay, so we have got Terror, Shock, Icy Wave. So if you get up here, you can do Icy Wave on them. Hmm. No. Okay, that's not going to work. Yeah, okay. And you have Stunning Shot. Oh yeah, easy. Okay. And then yeah, appeal. You're not gonna worry about it. You're gonna just shoot. Now it's me. Now will your icy wave work? Yes. It did. Nice. And end up with, oh, there's a box. What we have? Silver bar. Okay, so. Cat can go to her. And Cat can go to her. Let's see here. And. Yes, all right. We're slowly going to get them. How do we get our energy back? Hmm. I guess you have to go back into town to get your energy. Hmm. Is this a box I can get into? Nope. That's one building down. As long as I stay out of the, the purple, then I'm still in the town. Yeah, this is very much like Abaddon. Abaddon was this way. Alright, let's go on this one. You try to open the door to the dock barracks, but it's barred from the inside. Perhaps you will have better luck at one of the other doors. Hmm. So there's got to be a... Um, Move. This space is currently. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, we're just going up and around. We're looking. Four large ballasts point out to sea. A modest but dip effective defense for the port. And no ships will be able to safely land here as long as the port remains under the control of the brigands. And I can, it won't allow me to destroy them. Hmm. Aha, we got a thug over here. We ready? Yep. <clears throat> um, we're not going to be able to get there. Oh, yeah. Boop, we got more over here. And let's get you. Nice, almost killed him. And. Let me get a uh, mine. Oh, I did the... Hmm. Whatever. Can you... Alright, that one's done. And you are on your... You don't have a... You need a bow. We don't have a bow. For this reason! Oop, we got more coming. Okay, you're the one that heals. But I think she's fine for now. Let's just keep you back here. And shoot. Oh! Shoot. Oh, it's supposed to be shooting. 
Oh, whatever. Mm, okay. And... Uh, cool. That's... Oh. You still active? Yes, you are. Can you shoot? Oh. You don't have one. That's right. Okay. Mm. All right, you missed. Wellie. Hum. All right, get up here. All right, combat has ended. Is there anything here for me to pick up? No, there isn't. Okay, save. So, all right, I need to look at this. I got my weapon, but I keep to always seem to, and her, she's got the spear. Hmm. I don't know. Here's someone else appear. Another thug. with that one. So this is the one we couldn't get into. We got in, come on, come on. Move. We got into this one, but we didn't, couldn't get into the other one. You pull on the warehouse doors with all your might, but they don't budge. You knock, but nobody answers. Odd. Okay, so how do I get in? Did I pick something up that I wasn't aware of? Doesn't look like I did. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here's another door over here. I didn't even see it till just now. So they won't let me in one door, but I'll be able to get in this one. Oh, I guess I was. Okay, dusk. We have something here. How to not get hit, a tactical guide. The military of Haven is rich in healers of both the magical and non-magical variety. However, the power of even the most skilled healer cannot keep up with the damage a skilled opponent can dish out. That is why Haven's warriors should find ways to prevent their opponents from attacking at all. For physical warriors, attacks with stunning and knockback can prevent foes from it striking you. For mag mag magicians, terror and slowing effects can save you from much suffering. Summoned allies can keep your foes at a distance. The, her the infamous shockwave spell can prevent entire groups from attacking. Finally, if you are lucky enough to recruit an Archival and an yeah, echo acro mage, you can gain the ability to charm your foes. This can be devastating. Yeah, thanks for the tip, guys. This office was where merchants came to register shipments and pay traffic and pay tariffs. The brigands tore through here looking for wealth, found nothing, and left the room behind. This hall also quartered travelers and guards. There are sure to be quarters and kitchens here. The rest of the raiders must be hiding somewhere within. Important note, if you kill a few raiders and leave, they will have reinforcements when you return. In Queen's Wish, most dungeons need to be defeated in one trip. Oh, good to know, good to know. And I don't have any, um... Hmm. She's the one that heals. I 
can't heal when I'm not in battle. I guess I can't. These buttons swap between using melee and missile. I know. Oh, I was able to heal her. Okay. We'll see what that does. I haven't found any potions yet. Game save. Thank you for saving for me. Lots of blood. Base. Okay, let's just do one at a time here. Aha. Okay, so we are... That's... Um, we got one up there that's four. We're going to do Brutal Bolo. Nice. Oh, and you're clear back there. Um... Can you shoot him from there? That one's done. Um, oh, that's right. I need to do the inspiring cry. Okay, blessing. Alright, this is me, right? No, it's her. She can do... Load. Okay, who's damaged? I am damaged. Um, <coughs> oh yes, that'll work. Um, you can do terror or shock. Cool. And well, that wasn't what I meant to do. Nope, she didn't have any. Okay. We don't heal after we die. Okay. I mean, not we don't heal after after we get done fighting. Okay. So we got stairs going up. All right. We need some potions. You are first. Um, me, and that's five. So if I do binding blow, oh, there's more. Of course, there would be more. Um, You don't have one. Okay. You're the one that does this. Icy wave. <gasps> nice. Come up here. And we're just going to wait for them to come. Maybe they won't. Hmm. I thought I had a bow. Oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? There is a box by the north wall, bulging with goods. The brigands stored some of their stolen goods here. When you take gold or building materials from a box, you immediately add them to your supplies. Other items need to be kept in your backpack. Hmm. Okay. That must be what they're referring to. Oh, up there. Okay. Um, and you do have the... Um, 
passion points are just like nothing. Um, he's got five, so he can't do much. Can you shoot him from there? Nope. The brigands you've met so far, all oh, this is Kolkar. So far have been exactly what you expected. Drunken, violent fools. Deserters and Cretans. The sort of fools who would stand against Haven. You have cornered their leader in this back hall, and he is exactly like the others, just bigger and drunker. He lurches down the hall towards you, roaring, I am Kolkar. This is my port. Soon this will be my colony. Who are you? Never mind who I am. I just need to take care of this so I can get home. <laughs> I am Princess Corinne of Haven. We have returned. Yes, we have. The words don't quite sink in. You, you are. A bottle of grog slips from his fingers to the floor. He looks at the insignia on your chest. That, that is. Keep concentrating. He finally recognizes it. He looks up at you. The expected fear finally showing in his eyes. Princess, you are the princess, but you should not be here. This is just a poor place. Hmm, why did you take over this port? Did I not say? This colony is mine now. You abandoned it. Left us for years. You lost your claim. Now it is mine. When I get new warriors, I guess. So tell me about yourself. I was a guard. Came from another vassal state. Get rich in Sacramentum, they said. I found a waste. Now this waste will be mine. You have no claim to it. Well, I am the princess and it is time for you to go. No. Years. Spent years. Spent years getting the warriors, getting weapons, making them brave. This will be my new nation, nation of Klonkar. You can take it from me now. I will be king. I will be a king. Give me the port back and you will live. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. No, I am the king now. Years trapped on this continent have left Kloncar entirely... Oh, I'm sorry. Years left on this continent have left Kloncar entirely deranged. We will unseat your queen starting now. Her. Okay. And what is his... Um, he has got 26. The other ones were fairly easy. Okay, so let us go ahead and do... Um, Brutal blow. Bleeding for three turns. Weakness for five turns. Okay. Oop, there's more people coming. Should have known. But we need to concentrate on... Stunning shot. Is he stunned? He is stunned. Okay. Let's do terror on this one. Beer. Oh, we got more. Um, let's do... Oops, come here. Let's do this. <coughs> yep, he's gone. A Klonkar directly assaulted a colony of Haven and attacked its warriors, not, as, not to mention the, its princess. Haven has always given such outrages one punishment. You, get, you have just delivered it. Your mother put you in a situation where you had to defend his, her, this colony to survive. Now you have done the Empire's work. But we still have others here. Okay, so... Um, can we get you over here and then we can do this like that that'll work and that'll work that's six you come to me oh that's right you're terrified aren't you um and you'll come up here Shoot. Mm. That was it. Okay. I keep wanting to do... Okay. So we found Deadly Irune. Go to one of your 
smithies and you can attach this to a weapon or helmet to improve it. Ooh, okay. In an iron bar. See, those don't go, okay, so those don't get attached. They go to my, cool, anything in here? I do miss the looting. I know I just need to go down and take care of the ones down in the basement. Oop, another chest. Um, silver bar. Healing augment. Go to one of your smithies. Quicksilver. Oh, uh, this is a valuable resource. You can use it to build upgrades for your fort. When you take it, it will be added to your resource store. Cool. Cool. Alrighty. Anything in here? Alright, back downstairs. I can't believe we defeated them. Maybe this game on normal is easier than the other Avernums. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get in here. We have a thug. Okay, you attacked me right off the bat, didn't you? Yes, you did. Um, blinding blow. Okay, and you... Let's go ahead and do the blessing again. Anyone really need healed? Um, we'll do stunning shot. <coughs> wow, that was pretty damn good. Um, <coughs> that one's done. And you come up here and shoot. Sound like babies. Sound like animals dying or something. Okay, so we got a chest up here. Can we get into a chest here? Well, that's a door in. This is how we came in. Oh, another one. Are we done then? Did we do it? I believe we did, because I think this was the way. Yes, we did. Okay. So what about this other building we couldn't get into? Hmm. So how do we get into this one? Well, let's go back. We need to get healed up anyway. So we got everybody killed here. As you leave Great Port, the ships from Haven dock behind you. Dis oh, wow, they already knew, huh? Dis uh, disgorging goods and workers. Looking back, you see three full battalions of a fine ha Haven Soldiers emerge from the docks. They immediately follow their orders. They march down the road past you, saluting as they go and head west, south, and east. You will need their support to deal with the three alliances here. Your mother is giving you the, the full support. Often when you claim, reclaim a town, the situation inside it will change. If you re-enter Great Port now, you will receive a very different greeting. Really? Really? Okay, let's go back then. This post, see yeah, how this post is ours now. Okay, so that, I need your help. Why do you need my help? Fritz, dock worker, shipment is ready. I see, you see a familiar face, sort of. The smiling young man in the Evernight clothes casually carries a clipboard, a noble of Haven, but you can quite remember his name, but you can't, you can't quite remember his name, nor how you met. When he sees you, his bright, bright face turns to beam, and he rushes over. Corinne, I heard you were sent to put all to right here. 
What a grand adventure! When you fail to recognize him, he graciously reminds you with a bow. Fritz Bonlin. Bonlin? I don't recall giving you leave to use my familiar name. Um. How do I know you? Yeah, how do I know you? He winks. I'm Baron Banlin's third child. Ah, not a true heir. No wonder you forgot him. Hmm. He swats you on the... Sh See, that's just kind of rude and snobbish. He swats you on the so shoulder affectionately. Blocked it all out, eh? Mr. Haben Habenor's studio for extraordinary service? Service. Oh dear, the memories come flooding back. The three years your mother insisted you be socialized with other noble children while learning something useful. Oh, yes, Branham. How fears your family? Oh, I remember it well. Yes, vomit-inducing morning runs, relentless martial training, kidnapping survival techniques. Every class seemed to introduce a new form of sanctioned torture. <laughs> yes, okay. Oh, yes, Brandon, how bears your family? You ask the obligatory question demanded by protocol. He answers with a good humor. Health-wise, stout as the strongest oak, last I heard. Fritz loses his smile for a moment. Financially, our income is not what it could be. And what are you doing here? Oh, straight to the point. A princess with determination. Love it. Great, great optics. Hmm. When our queen requested royal... Volunteers for sac Sacramentum, and my father thought it a splendid idea that I join to advance Havens and my family's interest. Why did you leave your home? Well, this was all before my time, but the calamity happened. All Havenites left. Not quite true. Many stayed. All the wealthy and nobles left. I just completed my studies at Thornburg, majored in global trade management, a minor in theater. It if you are curious, you are not. It is time to make my fortune. Hmm. Exactly how does one... How Exactly how does helping you benefit me? Honestly, it doesn't. It benefits the Queen and thus Haven. Now, if you need an incentive to help me, he puts his heavy coin purse. He passes heavy coin purse. I'm sure we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. And how can you benefit the Queen? In the long run, quite a bit. Once I'm established, I will use my... Education to Haven's advantage by rebuilding trade with Sactum, Sac, Sacramentum, and personally, it will secure or rather reestablish my family's trade deals, earning money for the Blan, Blan, Banlin claim and all around it. So your father forced you to come? He looks scandalized. No, never. It is my duty and the fate of third-borns like us. Besides, this is a great adventure. The best honor and glory comes from serving the vassal states. One day I will tell my grandchildren of the great things we accomplish here. He strikes a heroic pose, clearly lost in thoughts of great things. Bait of thirdborns? Ah, uh, no one explained it to you? Every noble family must ensure its continuation. The heir and a spare are relegated to s suitably safer duties. It is us third and later borns that are sent on... Challenging duties. He makes his stabbing motion with his hands. If you ask me, you didn't. We're the lucky ones. No one cares who we marry or or if. Less of the less of the tedium of Haven's court life. All the fun of adventuring life. He winks. How do you plan to adventure in, 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 the, how do you plan to adventure interest? His smile vanishes as he turns at Coy. I've been meaning to come to you for an audience, but this will do as well. With your permission, of course, I would start by reclaiming our old home in Killerin. Do I have your sanction? For Haven's sake, you have permission to reclaim your home in Killerin. I forbid you from reclaiming them. I will allow you to reclaim your home for a price. Huh. Ooh, this is tricky. Um, for a price? Hmm. Would this be good or bad for me? But, you know, I mean, that is the way of um, the queen, isn't it? By that book that we read, everything has to be negotiated. Everything has to have a price. Hmm. Turn one against the other. I will allow you to reclaim your home for a price. Yeah. 
He nods understandingly. Luckily, my father ensured I was prepared for such irregularities. He slides a large coin stack. He sh slides a large shakes or slides a large coin sack off his belt. Then he puts it away. However, I heard Killerin is not yet safe for Havernites. Something about a rogue deserter that must be dealt with first. I'll head off once you've been there to show them what's what. Sure. So is that now a quest? Oh, Jay doesn't bring up journal. Hmm, thought it would. Nope. So I didn't get anything from him. Okay, dock worker won't talk to me. Um, Haven has returned. Oh, here's an Amory. The dock master is standing on duty, waiting by the large set of scales. When he sees you, he kneels. Princess, we are honored. I am Amory. Thank you for your help landing our ships. I hope the supplies and soldiers are to your liking. We will be here waiting to serve you. And where did you come from? From Haven. I'm a civilian. Ten years service on the docks of our empire. Did you choose to come here? Of course. Like all good Havenites, I am eager to help regain what we have lost. We will avenge the insult we received and maybe get rich along the way. Sure. Um, what is the status of the docks? Rough. Need a lot of repairs. Sweeping and mopping up mess. Cleaning the pests out of the warehouses. We will have everything at full strength soon. When are new ships coming in? The plan is for transports to come every week. Bring in new supplies and troops. Queen Sharon is investing heavily in this exp expedition. But it took three months for them to get here before, right? So... Are they already en route? Her expecting me to resolve this problem? Hmm, interesting. The first three ships left about three months ago. Okay, so she was. The, the weather worked against us. Now that we have found a good route, future journeys will be faster. Uh, sounds like things are being taken care of. Of course, Princess, the Queen considers the Sacramentum project of great importance. Hmm. I need more supplies. Please speak with Chief... Who's that? Chief Hertha? I am sure that she can help you. Where is Hertha? She is at the desk in the main office. Oh, excuse me. He runs off to yell at some workers about some doc something. So there's a Chief Hertha now here. Okay. I was hoping he would... Is this going to open now? Oop, it does open now. Didn't open before. Anything interesting in here? Huh, nothing that I see. Okay, just a dock. I'm just a warehouse. So she's over here now. Dock guard. Is this her? Yep, here she is. The chief of the port has efficiently reclaimed the office. Workers fresh from Haven constantly pass through to get fresh orders. When you enter, she drops everything, rises and kneels. Princess, I am Chief Hertha. Hertha, thank you for clearing the way for us. We will do all we can to make sure this colony is wealthy and well supplied. So what is the status of the port? Rough, but improving rapidly. We have forces to keep it defended and functional. And how often are ships coming in and out? Once a week is the usual schedule. There are storms and pirates, of course, so things aren't always predictable. For example, the first three ships took months longer than they should have to arrive. I apologize. The Queen wanted you to have more resources when you arrived. Hmm. Can manage ship to take me home? No. Thank you for the report. Of course, Princess. Um. What can the post do for me? I am so glad you asked. You can request resources. There will be a delay, but we will bring you more of what we need, of what you need on the next ship. Also, if you have excess resources, you can send them back to Haven in return for good, solid good coins. Um, I am looking for a mission. I, wait, from me? Really? I'm sorry. I would never presume to suggest how a princess of Haven should spend time. Mm, just humor me. I really don't know. I'm just a bureaucrat. I think we had some pests in the basement of one of our warehouses. I was going to send out soldiers in it to take care of it. Okay. Mm sure. So is that a quest? No. Nope. Maybe I can't do anything until after I report back. 
And I think I also took care of those pests in one of the warehouses because I am who I am. Um, oh, Haven Report. The Haven Ports and three and mines and mines generate. So that it was something. Um, granite. I think that's like granite, stone, iron, and then money. Losses from theft. Theft claimed 15%. There is no theft. Total change from Haven. Urca report. You have no earnings from Urk lands yet. Rebuild one of your ports there to begin collecting resources. The, uh, okay. So I get reports now. Final report. Resources before earning came in. 160. Upkeep of all ports and shops. Resources at end of this two day period. Is that good or bad? 166. Okay. Let's get back in here, get healed up. All right. So I got healed up. Now I need to. You return to Port Haven. Things are already very different. When the ships landed at Green Great Port, soldiers rushed out. Some bore weapons, others pulled wagons full of equipment. They got here ahead of you and have already started to work. You hear warriors drilling, nails being hammered into wood, shouts and cheers. Queen Sharon made sure this expedition was well planned. You think you had best see how Chief Miranda is doing. You can now use the world maps to fast travel to locations you have already found. Was that the M? No. What's the map? World map. Okay, so I can, okay, so I can go... Greenport. I haven't been in these places, so I can't get to them. Cool. Now I get to see the map. Hmm. We got a lot of places to go. Lots of places to go. All right, let's go talk to... Uh, where was she at then? She was up here, wasn't she? All the people moving around now. Look at them all. Board guard. Okay, they're all training. Hmm. Um, now we got townspeople here. We didn't before. Let's go talk to her. Is that open? Hmm. When you enter her office, Miranda is so overwhelmed with enthusiasm that she is almost forgets to kneel to you. <coughs> oh, princess, it is amazing. Are you, are you responsible for all these new soldiers and supplies? Well, I retook the port. You have just gained a level. Your characters now have more health and energy, and their abilities and attacks will be more effective. Each time you gain a level, you will also gain a skill point. When you are in one of your forts, you can spend skill points to gain new abilities or make your old abilities more effective. So you can't you can't upgrade yourself outside of um, outside of a port, and that's how um, Abaddon Abaddon was that way. You couldn't upgrade yourself until you were in the fort, which makes sense, really. You shouldn't be able to upgrade yourself um, while you're fighting. You tell the tale of your epic kind of the assault on the port in battle with Cloncar. Chief Miranda is envious that she could not witness it. Even better, the ships have landed and delivered their goods. We have many resources now. The rebuilding can begin. Uh, many soldiers came off the ships. Where did they all go? There were three battalions on those ships. They split up and went to each of the three nations surrounding us. The Urkin, the Vol, and the Arrero are in an ugly surprise. Are in for an ugly surprise. So did we have enough resources to repair the portal home? Ah, uh, I don't know much about portals. Sage Harlan upstairs knows about that. I don't tinker with magic. So what has arrived exactly? So many things. I will explain what it all is and how to use it. The first thing we'll work with is the stone in the wood. So now what? We need to start rebuilding the port. It will be a good base for the operations to come. You are the princess, so you will direct what is to be built and I will make it happen. With your permission, I will need to give you some advice on how rebuilding works. Sure, um, let's do that. So many of our buildings crumbled from neglect or were torn down from materials, workshops, and stalls. We need space to build shops. Each place that can be rebuilt has a stone marker next to it. I will make wood available. Go outside and select a marker. I will have our laborers get to work. You have gained... Okay. 
Select these stone markers to rebuild buildings and stalls. You will need workshops to equip your character. To place them, you will need buildings. Go outside, use two stone markers, and choose to rebuild two buildings or stalls. Rebuilding each will cost two wood. Okay, so, um, characters now. So, how do we use our skill points? Hmm. Didn't tell you something to do skill points, did it? Combat, magic. Okay, alright, so combat. I got. So I can either. Okay, so. I can't do these. Bull rush costs two energy. I can only increase these, I see. Or I'm not magic, so I'm not going to do that. Support. <clears throat> so I can only increase what I have. I can't increase... So I can increase whirlwind attack. Mm. Or I increase... Brutal blow. Or blinding blow. And this takes me to steel skin then, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. So, okay, am I understanding this right? Two plus help can use, but then I can't, okay, so I can do gain new ability. Your next attack with your weapon, melee or missile, will be 20% extra damage and cause bleeding. Attack 2 gives an extra 25% damage. A level 2 weakens your bow for 3 more turns. Still skin passive ability, always active, gives 2% level resistance to bleeding, poison, st oh yeah, I think that's something, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely need that. Okay, so we got her, let's do hers, I think she's going to need that too, since she's also up there in the fray, bath splint, uh, your next attack with your weapon, melee, or missile is a Cunning bent. You will be faster and do. I think we better do this one. Okay, so then let's do his. Um, this is magic. So hers is considered support. That's odd. Or am I in the right area? Okay, hers is considered support because she does healing and. So this is speed. Uh, gain ability provides 12 turns of haste to any one ally. You will get turns in combat. Teleport. Hmm, teleports one character to a nearby spot. That's pretty cool. Um, hide in shadows. Causes nearby enemies to be less likely to be angry at or target you. I... Mm, inspiring. Okay. Increases duration two turns. At level two heals 10% more. Yeah, I think we better do that one. As a single ally. Okay, and then we're going to do her, Patricia. She is magic. Okay. Um, I think I need to put her up. I think I need to swap them. So, the shock is fine. I like the terror um, magery. Uh, gives 20% bonus to all healing, blessings, and curses you cause. But she doesn't use, um, hmm, the icy wave, does 10% more damage. I like that. Weakness, she doesn't use that. Call bones. Hmm. To all healing, blessings, and curses. But she doesn't do healing. She didn't do healing. Does she ever going to do healing? Doesn't look like she does. Time war, raw power, build, construct. Huh. Um, I think I'm going to do the icy rain. Okay, and, um, and there was a way to move these up and down, right? I think that's over here. Um, yep. Yeah. There we go. Because she's the healer.
All right. Um, does he have anything to say? Mm, any messages for me? <clears throat> The portal has been humming alarmingly. This usually signifies that someone back at Sharon's palace wants to speak with you. Cool. Um, are we making progress being silent? Not yet right now. I'm still assembling the basic cleaning supplies. I don't want you to die of Cora before we have the chance to save Haven. What does my... What do the people... How am I progressing? Your work has barely begun. You should speak with Chief Mia. I know. Okay. So I suppose I need to go in here and talk to the portal. You can go to the portal and touch it. The humming deepens. The whispers quick. The whispers quiet. Then you hear a voice. It is your mother. Queen Sharon says, Corinne, is this working? Are you there? She speaks too slowly and her voice is way too loud. Um. Yes, mother, I am here. Excellent. I am alone in the garden. We can speak candidly. I understand the ships I sent have landed. Supplies are provided. Our three battalions are moving into position. Mm, wait, how did you know? Are you spying on me? Of course I am. Corinne, you think I let events happen in our vassal states without knowing all I can about it? Especially when my child is there? Don't be foolish. Okay. Mm, uh, your ships have landed. I am ready to come home. The boats have landed. The ports are being restored. The queen is pleased. That is good. Necessary. If you are going to enter the three nations of Sacramentum and deal with them, you will need visible strength behind you. The troops we sent are our best. Sacra Sac Sacramentum will fear them. Hmm. You gave me a job. I will do it. I want to come home. No, I don't. I have waited so long to hear that resolve in your voice. I tried to trust you before, but it never worked out. Maybe, at last, we can begin to talk as rulers. One more thing. Sure, what is it? We are thinking of you. We are thinking of you. Your family wants you to succeed. Come back to this portal often. We long to guide you. Good fortune, my child. Make Haven strong. You try to respond, but the humming and the whispers have returned. The queen is gone. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go see here. We know we've got areas that need to be rebuilt. So, well, there, I don't think there was anything in here, was there? There isn't now either. Did I even go up in here? No, I don't think I did. Okay. They probably all have, well, it's open, so I guess I must have at one time. Um... So, um, okay, would you like to construct this building? It will cost two, you have 11, yes. Cool. Now we can get into it. There's nothing here. Pretty small, it looks really small from the outside. <laughs> um, okay, so we need to make stalls too, right? I assume, and who is this? Haven Town's person. Will she talk to me? Probably not. Nope. Hello. Um, just go ahead and do this one over here. You decide not to make another building yet. You might need the resources for something else. Perhaps Miranda can help. Okay. So, I did what I was supposed to do. <clears throat> Chief of Renaissance for death, surrounded by maps, ledgers, okay. I have commanded that a building be rebuilt. I actually did two. That is, that is a bare, bare space. Now we need to fill it with something. Blacksmiths, weavers, wool workers, even brewers. Far, the more we have, the more money we can make and the better equipment we will be available. You can now direct us to rebuild the shops. And how do I replace the lost shops? First... We need to turn supplies into equipment. Give the command and I will turn our resources into a shop. The most urgent things to defend ourselves are a blacksmith and an apocry. Miranda makes more resources available. End the conversation to learn how to buy shops. When you have bought a smithy and an ap apocry, talk to Miranda again. You have gained. Okay. To buy a building. 
Press the buy stop button, press the button to buy it. To place a building, you first need to buy it. You really need a blacksmith and a pocket parry. First, press the buy buildings button, then press the plus to the right of the smithy and the apothecary to buy them. Once you have them, report back to Miranda. Okay. This should be the apothecary. So, buy. Okay, this is how we do it. Um, buy building. So we want to do um, apothecary, yep, and a smithy. Bye. Did it do it? Um, I don't know. Rebuilding. Use the buy buttons. Purchase a blacksmith. And I thought I did. I thought I did. Okay. Base buildings. The tape and there's a news to tell you how to do that. Okay. I thought I did buy them. Buy, okay. Did I? Smithy, okay, so I've got them here. Okay, so I guess I bought them. The mark, I guess I have to go back to her. I'm misunderstanding what I'm supposed to be doing here. Bear with me. Okay, um, I have bought a smithy and a pocket carry. Excellent. The final thing you to do is say where they will be built. Your trials are almost complete. So I have to place the shops? How does that work? Go to the building or stall you rebuilt. You can also place a shop in the northeast corner. Rebuild our smithy and our pocket carry. When you end conversation, you will learn how to place a shop. Hmm. How do I decide where to place a shop? You can only place shops on wooden floors. Also, each building usually only has room for one shop. You will need to keep rebuilding to make more shops. And what can I place besides shops? You can make all sorts of decorative furniture. You can plant trees if you are inclined. You can do a lot of decorating. It won't help if you're it won't help in your battles though. Someone mutters. This fort desperately needs decoration, but then I have more to clean. All right, I will get that done. I can see, I can't wait to get your proper weapons and potions again. Okay, to place a shop. Okay, so, and I kind of figured that. All right, come on, over here. So to place a shop, the smithy is, okay, um, place, I guess I didn't quite get it. Um, I need to go up here. That's the smithy. Cool. And the pocket carry is going to go here. Stores and workshops can only be placed on wooden floors. You must place the shop inside a tower building or stall. Oh, okay. So it's got to be in here. You can't place new terrain types on store floors. What? Um, northwest corner. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We did it. All right. So now I have a place I can go and get weapons, sell stuff, I assume, right? Where am I going? So are they now? Um, you now have a smithy and a pocket carry. Marvelous! After cowering in this fort for so long, we can finally repay the other nations for the insults they have given us. Don't stop building, though. Each sort of shop will give you valuable advantages. When, you're, when you rebuild our six lost forts in the other nations, more shops will give you even better equipment. Oh, and if you didn't already speak to the alchemist and start getting... Oh, and if you didn't already speak to the alchemist and start getting potions. Um... What else can I build? So many shops. Work, work, woodworkers for better bows and shields. Weavers for better robes and cowls and bigger backpacks. Mills and brewers to earn money. There are many options to play with. I still don't have a working portal. 
That may be a challenge. Sage Harlan can restore it, but it will take a lot of materials, far more than we have now. You can eventually choose to restore the portal on the bay building, on the bay building windows. Then you can return home. It, it'll take a lot of materials, though. Do you have any more advice for me? That may be a... Okay, I'm sorry. You know enough to restore a second sacramentum to its rightful place as Haven's Colony. I can still give you a lot of information. For example, if you want to bite to regain our minds in queries, I can suggest places to go. I may also sometimes need your help at the major decision. Please come and see me often. I would be honored. The great work can begin. The great work? It has been so hard watching the arrogant Errol, the greedy ball, the, the vengeful Nukatish. They owe us so much. And then the moment our land was cursed and we were weak, they broke our agreement with us. We are back. Queen Sharon is supporting us. We will make them pay. Please, come check in with me at, as you expand our colony. I can give you valuable information and direct you to places where you can greatly increase our strength. Um... Okay, I want to know the status of the three other nations. Yes. Of course, I can provide an evaluation of our relations with Urka, whatever. Tell me about the Urkentish. We have not yet made contact with our battalion at the border of Urkentish lands. To get there, leave this fort and follow the roads to the west. Try to rebuild both our forts. Okay, that is all. Um, we need resources. Any missions worthy of one of my rank? There are multiple opportunities near us to gain resources and reclaim our lands. Since you came here to fight, I can suggest where you might improve our strengths with minimal effort at risk. Okay. Um. What can we re What can? Um, what? Uh, what can we reclaim in ball lands? Ah, she checks maps. That is easy. The serpent quar quarry is not far to the southeast. There are monsters there, keeping us from recovering precious stone. I hesitate to ask, but you could gain a lot of resources with very little work. What monsters should I expect? The quarry grew infested with its nasty namesake reptiles, snakes, quite a few of them, and our workers won't get go back until it is safe. They hate snakes. At least I hope that is the only problem. Anything else I should expect there? Well, it is wild land near Vol territory. That means there is always a chance that you will... Meet escaped Owen. This can create a variety of problems. Escaped Owen? Owen is a lifelong indentured servant of the bowl. Sometimes they hate this, they hate this and escape. Then we catch them. Queen Sharon always had us return them to the bowl. This can be very upsetting. And what do I do about them if I find them? I am very happy to say that. As I am not the princess, it won't be my decision. <laughs> the bowl is led by the Masha, the owners. Queen Shara, Sharon brought the Vols support by supporting the Masha and controlling the people they own. I don't have any opinions about this. I'm just a chief. I follow orders. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's it for now. Uh, this episode's gotten kind of long. Um, almost an hour. So, do we have any more quests? Um, okay, reclaiming. Yep, so we have things to reclaim. Journey, turn home, reclaim in the arrow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. And when we come back, I'm going to do some exploring around. I'm going to leave and come back too so I can regain our health since we leveled up. It didn't automatically do that, which I thought is strange. But anyway, if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.